Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we got a lovely comment on a recommendation to make a YouTube video on daily habits to improve your trading and how to develop a consistently profitable trader mindset. So I thought this video would make the most like, use for a lot of people. And I've compiled a list, me and Nikita, we've compiled a list of some pointers which we think if you do daily, I think this will be your quickest path towards, you know, like becoming a much better trader. So let's get started, okay? So the first thing I think you can do to become a much better trader and a consistently profitable one, start having a plan for the next trading day. Now two things can happen. Now either the market will work according to your plan, in which case everything will work. Second, what can happen is the market doesn't work out according to how you want it to work. Now, whenever a market doesn't behave like the way you think it should behave, immediately like you should be on red alert and your quantity which you deploy should become very low. Because you know, if not going according to your plan, at least if you're trading, the objective should be to lose less. Additionally, what this planning helps you to do, especially in option selling, what happens, there are a lot of Fed events and a lot of U events in the US, which basically can have an impact on what we do overnight, especially. When you start planning for all this, you take into account the risks associated with each event. You can either escape the risk or, you know, be much better prepared for the next trading day. And always your plan should consist based on the what the current day scandal is and what mostly can happen on the next day. For example, like if there's a very strong bullish candle, what usually happens after that? Okay, now you have to go and study that and plan accordingly. Now the second point I think will help you become consistently profitable is you should always plan your risk. Like you should never lose more amount on a trade than you intend to. Now, for example, I'm taking a risk of, let's say like 1 lakh rupees. Okay. Now, if I lose the 1 lakh, okay, which I, before taking the trade, which was the risk, which I had planned. If I, even if I lose 1 lakh, my mentally I'm very good because, you know, I don't get a shock that, you know, oh shit, I lost 1 lakh. But there are some trades, which earlier, especially, which I used to do, like I didn't know the risk going in, in those trades. I'll give you a very good example. Lately also it's happened. It was the HDFC bank the result day. The next day after that gap down, I didn't calculate that 40 lakh loss which I got at the opening. Now such losses, for example, the 40 lakh loss which I had that day, it was a very bad loss. So basically, like if you want to improve quickly and you want to become consistent, you should know your risk upfront before every trade. And I don't know if you've played some video games, okay? Usually in video games, like you get three lives, okay? So even if you lose one life, you still can play the video game two times more, okay, before it like quits you out. So that kind of same logic you should have in trading. Even if your stop loss hits one time in a day, you should still be able to trade like at least to take one or two SLs more in the day. And if you lose like three times a day, then you should simply stop, stop trading for that day. Because after that, if you still trade, then mostly you're doing revenge trading. I've seen this in many people actually, like, because, you know, they are in loss. And may what they go and do on expiry day, oh, I'll just sell a straddle, I'll just recoup my loss, I'll call it a day. In the straddle, when they sell, they incur even more loss, because a move will come after that. And especially if the planned risk ko exceed kya hai aapne, okay, then whenever the execution time comes, okay, to take your trade also, like, you won't be able to execute properly as well, because... If you've not planned for something, how can you execute it flawlessly? You can't. So it's always better to know like what the risk is upfront. And the third point which I want to tell you is you should be trading only on your setups. Now I've made a video on journaling as well in which I told you find your A1 setups. Now how will you find your A1 setups? Remove your data of the last six months or one year okay, of your trading data and find out which days are you most profitable. Is it an expiry day or is it the day before the expiry? Next, find out like, do you play bullish markets better? You play bearish markets better. Then try to find out, you know, whenever you've taken overnight risk, when have you been rewarded handsomely and on what trade? So whenever you get all this data, you'll find that certain price points on the chart where if the similar chart price action happens, you know, this is where you've executed flawlessly. So you can execute properly again then. And you know, also trading on your setups, also it means that you shouldn't have that HK 916 market has opened, okay? And now immediately I'm going to go sell a triangle or a straddle. I've seen many people do that. And the 920 people especially, those are the ones especially I don't see improving at all. Because they just wake up, they sell options at 920 and they try to find different stop losses. All this time, instead of improving their own trading, improving their charting, they are just doing the stupidity of like finding the right SL. Now after, if they look at the past one year data, they'll find the correct SL. But why the time they do it, the market would have changed again. So they are constantly in that loop and that circle of, you know, finding the correct SL. And even directional traders, for example, you know, it's a buy on dip market. 
जस्ट लूज देयर पूल आई हैव सीन मेनी टाइम्स ये गलती से अगर गैप अप होता है इंस्टेड ऑफ बाइंग ऑन द डिप दे बाय ऑन द गैप अप एंड देन दे गेट ट्रैप्ड इफ द मार्केट कम्स डाउन सो यू रियली नीड टू कंट्रोल योर इमोशंस ओके यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हिच सेटअप्स यू गेट यू ट्रेड रियली वेल ऑन एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू ट्रेड ऑन दोस बिकॉज़ दिस इज द क्विकेस्ट जर्नी आई एम टेलिंग यू लाइक टू बिकम अ वेरी कंसिस्टेंट एंड प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडर एनीथिंग एल्स इफ यू डू मोस्ट लाइकली यू विल टेक लॉन्गर टू अचीव योर गोल एंड लेट मी रिमाइंड यू आई हैव हैड ऑल द ट्रेनर्स एनी मोस्टली आई हैव अटेंडेड all the trading courses whichever the big traders have like uh, gotten out i have attended them all so i know like uh, what works what doesn't work and i've been trading for quite a long time myself now and the fourth thing which i want to tell you is you should review and learn from both your mistakes and your winners okay now what you are going to do every weekend okay saturday sunday especially you are not doing anything because you know most of you are you don't have a youtube channel or a second thing you are working on so this basically gives you a huge advantage over like people who do a lot of work and this gives you a lot of ample time so what you can do during saturday and sunday particularly go through your trades from monday to friday take your trades go through all of them and find out why such some trades worked why some trades didn't work okay and you're just going to review and learn through each trade trust me if you do this like give it 6 months and then after 6 months see what kind of a trader you become i guarantee you you will be much better than what you are currently now next what you're going to do you're always going to stay away from finding tops and bottoms in the market at least initially when you start out until you think you are getting like sort of decent okay in gauging price action uh, avoid calling top and avoid calling bottoms okay you won't be good at it because even the best traders like it's very rare that they are always accurate about the tops and bottoms abhi man lo kotak bank okay it fell down a lot lot of people will go and buy it like for no reason just because it's down they'll try to find the bottom and then they'll try to buy in it i see many accounts on twitter where they trade via cash or via futures and all of them find stocks which are in momentum always now see this kotak bank chart like for example now lot of people just because it's gap down like here they'll try to buy it somewhere in this region but first let price make a base let make let it form some w and then like let it go up or let there be a consolidation and then a breakout should come something like that only in momentum you should try to buy a stock otherwise you should and lastly like if you they like, have tried all this but you are unable to generate ideas okay because you do need ideas of how to look at the market so certain lenses you need if you are unable to do it yourself like you should always go and seek guidance and mentorship like i think i'm very decently smart but still i always try to learn from the best traders no matter who it is because my thinking is even if they teach me like one thing it brings me closer to my goal quicker okay, then if i had to do it all on my own so you can go attend workshops of people you can join their webinars or their mentorships and you can like you know uh, quicken the learning curve which i also did when i started out okay, so basically this is just a lifestyle of a star trader you'll start with your planning you'll put some risk management to it you'll have some clear setups and you'll avoid the random kind of trading okay this will generate the winning mindset to you and you know like how you operate in your life apart from trading you will also have an impact on your trading there's a book okay the book is called the way you do anything is the way you do everything so you can't be horrible in your life but be a star trader so you have to be good in all arenas and if you do a lot of journaling and if you adapt to the current market and if you are willing to learn from people i think you are on your way to become a star trader very soon okay I hope this short video was helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I just like this topic so I chose it because I could make a quick video on it and I know I'll be coming up and I'll be coming out with more learning videos pretty soon and there's a demand for the GSEC video a lot okay. I've been stalling on that video for uh, like more than a month so I'll try to make a video on GSEC because I do always keep seeing comments of certain people who keep repeatedly telling me to make a video on GSEC. Cool so I hope this was helpful to you. I hope if you inculcate these habits I think you'll be on your way to becoming a better trader pretty soon okay so I wish you the best and I'll see you very soon very quickly bye